On the 31st of January, the Catholic Church celebrates the feast day of St. John Bosco. With this painting, Sigurd Kodar is asking the question, is St. John Bosco or Don Bosco as we know him still relevant for a 21st century society? This painting was largely dismissed by people who knew the story of Don Bosco because they were asking the question, we knew that Don Bosco was a juggler and an acrobat, but there is nowhere have we ever read that he was a puppeteer. What is all this about? Siga Koder, who died very recently, was a German artist and a Catholic priest who was heavily influenced by German expressionist art. The expressionists do not try to depict objective reality, but rather they are trying to depict the subjective emotions and responses that their art causes within the viewers. Therefore, the question is, what emotions, what responses does Siga Koda seek to elicit from us? In this painting, Don Bosco is behind the screen and he is entertaining a group of young people on the other side of the screen with puppets. He's got a puppet in each hand. But let us look at this puppet very carefully. This puppet here represents a special gospel scene. It is the moment in which the father embraces the prodigal son who has returned home. Look at the expression on Don Bosco's face. He's got a smile. He enjoys what he's doing. He's doing his work with a sense of joy and delight. And the young people are responding accordingly. They are very engaged and interested because he uses creativity to portray an old story from the gospel. In this story, Don Bosco is trying to tell us and he's trying to tell his young people that the, all the gospel is about is about God's love, forgiveness and tenderness towards us. It is a God that loves them and they are responding with a sense of delight to this message of good news. Siga Coder is telling all of us that Don Bosco's spirituality is based on the gospel and is based in Jesus Christ. It is not his message, and that's why he remains hidden behind the screen. I have already mentioned how on the other side of the screen, the young people are interested and are engaged. But did you notice there is one adult among all these young people? Who is that the adult? It is Don Bosco again. Is Siga Coda telling us Don Bosco was not just a great preacher, was not just a great teacher. Most of all, he was a great witness. Don Bosco went out gathering young people that the Industrial Revolution had discarded and rejected. Can you see the background there is a nondescript city. Don Bosco would go anywhere where there were young people to gather them because he believed in them and he believed that God loved them. And so, together with the young, he set out on a journey to shape them, to form them, to prepare them for a life, the fullness of life as the gospel promises, as good Christians and honest citizens. Don Bosco spirituality is an incarnation of spirituality. Don Bosco spirituality is a holistic spirituality and is based on three pillars, reason, religion, and loving kindness. But more of this later. First of all, let us now look who is the person crouching behind the curtain, looking up intently to St. John Bosco. Who is this person? In my opinion, Sigurd Kodar is telling us that that person crouching, looking intently to Don Bosco, it's the viewers, it's you and me. That person represents the teachers, the parents, 
the social workers, the counselors, and all those who are working with young people. Siga Kodal is telling us, look to Don Bosco and learn. But learn what? Notice first of all how he is dressed in blue, like the prodigal son. The first message that Don Bosco in this picture is giving us, the viewer, is that only those who have experienced God's love, forgiveness and tenderness in their own lives can become teachers and witnesses to the young. And we can do this with the three pillars, the three strategies that Don Bosco has given us. The first strategy is reason. Don Bosco would plead with us, please use all the latest and the most valuable psychological, pedagogical and creative strategy to convince the young about the joy, the advantages and the beauty on living one's life as good Christians and honest citizens. The second strategy is religion. A religion not based on fear, but a religion based on love. A God that loves them and treasures them. A God who has created them for a purpose. A God who delights in seeing them growing to be the young men and the young women that God had intended them to be. The third and final strategy that Don Bosco wants us to use is loving kindness. He made it quite clear. He told us, it is not enough to love the young, they must know that they are loved. It is as simple and as difficult as this. As Paul VI told that many years ago, in Evangelii Nunziandi, modern women and men listen more willingly to witnesses than to teachers. And if they do listen to teachers, it is because they are witnesses. This is the very challenging message that Siga Koda has for our schools, our parishes, our families, our society. Our world is in need of living Don Boscos for the youth of our time. Will you be one of them? Bye now and thank you.